name's Chris O'Neill, I'm a Networks graduate with an SSE in Transmission and I have a degree in Electrical and Electronic Engineering from the University of Strathclyde. In terms of training and support within the Networks team specifically, we had a whole host of training within our first year of the programme and this kind of checked off all the fundamentals that you're kind of required to have a, a, a basic understanding of as, a, as an engineering graduate within Networks, so that included overhead lines, cables, uh, substation training where we actually were able to go out on site and look at the various assets within the substation and identify them by just looking at them. Um, also protection and control, having an understanding of the importance of that and ensuring that we operate the network safely and reliably. So some of my main achievements since joining the SSE Graduate Scheme includes the, the provision of a transmission owner connection offer to a renewable developer looking to connect solar power into the network around 50 megawatts. So I was responsible for undertaking the impact assessment of that new generation on the network and the power flows uh, on the system and prescribing the works that were required to get them onto the, the network um, as efficiently and safely as possible. Hi, my name is Alex Hayward. I'm on the Renewables Engineering Graduate Scheme with SSE. In the renewables business, there's quite a lot of flexibility. So my first placement uh, in Scotwind was identified for me and that lasted for about four months. Um, and then I went to Consent's team for a few months, which is trying to secure an environmental impact assessment. I then went outside the renewables business into group sustainability for six months, um, which was a really eye-opening experience. I came back to renewables and now I'm currently in uh, energy economics. So there's a real license to go and, and find the placements that are interesting to you. There's no set path and you can kind of stay with them for as long or as short as you would like. Within SSE, my future career goals largely around developing sustainability within the business. Already, it's kind of a niche that I've started to work myself into, and, and I think there's lots of opportunities to continue to embed that in our culture and our future. And we are absolutely on the road to net zero, uh, but it's just about ensuring that we get there in a way that's just um, for all members of society and doesn't increase inequalities. Personally, I'm also striving towards an environmental chartership and chartership is something that SSE will really support you on. They'll pay your membership fees and assessments as well and you'll get a mentor within the business, which is really helpful. So I'm hoping to do that uh, within five years. And beyond that, the renewables business in particular has got its sights set on international markets such as uh, Japan or the United States. So there's a big part of me that would definitely enjoy uh, living and working abroad uh, if that opportunity were presented to me. My name is Kirsty Johnston. Um, I'm a civil and environmental master's student background and I'm currently working on the SSE Thermal Graduate Scheme. The graduate scheme for a graduate joining SSE is well structured um, and very consistent across all graduates. Uh, when you first join, at least for me, I was put into a team that had the same role as my background so that when you're going into your first day you actually do know the, a little bit about the team that you're going into. So for me it was going into a civil and structural engineering team as that was related to my degree. So day one your first team will always be based on something that you already have knowledge of which is great because it takes away the first day nerves of going into something that you, you don't know anything about. I, I have my final role sorted coming off the graduate scheme which is lovely, it's a really nice. So I'm going to be going into a structural engineering role um, I'm going to be going into floating wind, which um, is a very exciting time for me. I'm really excited to get my foot into the door there. So I think my goals and aspirations for kind of coming off of the graduate scheme within SSC is just get chartered. I would love to become a chartered engineer and the job role is going to provide so many opportunities for that, which is really exciting and um, just get really good at my job. <laughs>